You know, I, that's a that's a great way to kick off the OVC tournament. Uh, obviously, we were we were fortunate to be here, and we were excited to be here. And I thought we had great belief coming in that not only we could win this game, but we could advance and, and, and continue to extend our season. And I felt like we carried that belief throughout that game. I mean, we got down nine points uh, in the second half and uh, with, with four minutes to go, if I'm seeing this right, and, and fought back and, and had an opportunity to win the game. And it didn't have a lot to do with special plays or anything like that we did. It had to do with individuals stepping up and making plays to make sure that they could just have the chance to extend their season. And so I'm, I'm really proud of our guys because they, they played extremely hard as they did all year, and they fought, and uh, I thought we played hard enough to win that game. I start. Um, it was a great experience to um, play in the OVC tournament, and um, that's all I could really say. It was a great experience. Uh, you know, th these are things you dream of playing in the conference tournament. Obviously, we wanted to win. Um, we didn't get the outcome we wanted, but you know, we're just glad to be here. Hopefully, you know, wish things could have changed, but we'll work harder. Um, as a team, well, after uh, playing with Jamin and Jordan, they showed me like what it takes to be a leader on this team. So going forward, it's just stepping up and become a more vocal, vocal as a leader for next year. No, piggybacking on what he said, you know, Jamin and Jordan taught us how to be leaders. If you want to, if you want to learn how to be a leader, I would pick them. Um, I hate to see them leave. I wish I could have helped get them a championship, but we'll be ready next year. One more, Coach. Uh, just, you talk about you, you only get to play players, you had some injuries and some things this year. Just the toughness of your team that's to play with such a small roster. Right? No, you're exactly right. And I would say along with the toughness, the discipline of our group, um, I, we have. We've played with eight players a number of times, uh, we've gone into a whole bunch of games with, with nine players available, um, you know, because we've had two season ending injuries that, of guys who were key contributors for us. And so uh, our group is really tough. They're really resilient and they've stepped up when they needed to in those guys' absence. And that goes for two freshmen sitting here with me now and, and on the upperclassmen as well who stepped up and did that. But uh, I, th I feel like we've got a very disciplined group. You know, we never had a bad practice all year. We hadn't had no off-the-court issues. Our, our grades and GPA and conduct and all of that is, is, is at a high standard right now. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm encouraged by this group because uh, they, they've really got what it takes to win at a high level and to come down here and, and continue to advance. And talk about uh, our two seniors, you know, Jordan, Walker and Jimon Henson, those guys, they mean a great deal to me personally. I recruited those guys as assistants, took over as head coach during their freshman year, and we've kind of grown up together, and they've, uh, they've helped us build this program. They've hosted every recruit that we've had, and uh, we've tried to continue to go get guys who are like them. And I'm, I'm very proud of those two guys. I hate to see them go out this way, but uh, what you see on each side of me right here is a product of what those two guys have done. They've really laid a great foundation for great young players like Ty and Talon who, who are going to be special in this league. And they go along with the other great cast of, you know, really talented young players that are in our league. Our league is, is going to be unbelievably exciting going forward with all the returning talent that we have.